hands. Let us believe and pray therefore on us. Share the word of God with you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you. I pray as I'm going to share the word, Lord, may you touch someone. May you renew someone today. May you remind them how great you are in Jesus' mighty name. I pray and believe. Amen. My friend, I want us to go straight to the book of, uh, of, of uh, John chapter 14, verses 18. The Bible says this way. Listen to me. It says this way. I will not leave you as an orphan. I will come to you. Friend, listen to this. The Bible says, I will not leave you as an orphan. Then again, I will come to you. I want to tell you, my friend, maybe you feel you are left out at this season. Many are celebrating. Many are gathering here and there because of celebrating the life of Jesus. And again, someone has been left somewhere and he doesn't know where to celebrate. He doesn't know where to eat. He doesn't know how can I be involved. But today I tell you, the Bible says, I'll not leave you as an orphan. I will be there with you. And again, I'll be there for you. Praise the name of Jesus. It says very well, listen, it says, this is a lovely part. I will come to you. Praise the name of Jesus. Try to imagine Christ coming to you. It, not, it doesn't mean that he's desperate of coming to you. He comes to you because he loves you. He comes to you because he died for you. He comes to you because he values you. He comes to you because he is a God who created you. Therefore, he comes to his creatures. Praise the name of Jesus. He created you. Now he comes to you again because he wants you to be in a better place. He wants you to walk in a lovely level in the mighty name of Jesus. Friends, don't lose hope. Keep on pushing. The Father has said he will come to you. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of your preparation. The circumstances you are going through, you feel like you are left out. You feel like your heart has gone. But today I tell you, God will renew you. God will lift you. God will take you to another level. God will do everything to make sure that you stand firm in Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you. I give you praise for those who are so mighty, Father, who feel left behind, who feel they are nowhere, who feels that they are down, nobody will care for them. Today, Lord, I invite your presence in their life. May they feel comfortable. May they feel people with value. I thank you, King of Kings. This I pray. I thank you, Jehovah, for your wonderful miracle upon their life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You are there, not born again. I want to give you a chance. And the chance is now. Repent. And one way of repenting is to accept Jesus Christ. And when you accept Jesus Christ, all will be well. All will be well. Therefore, repeat this word after me. Jehovah, I come before you. I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. Today I ask for your forgiveness. Lord, forgive me. Write my name in the book of life. Renew me to walk with you again. Remove my name in the book of darkness. Today, I want to stand to call you Jehovah, a mighty God. Thank you, Jehovah, for your forgiveness. Jehovah, thank you for your people. Jehovah, thank you for those who are not praying. Thank you for the renewing them. Thank you, Lord, as they walk in this Christian life. Let them never be disappointed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My friend, you are now born again. Walk with Christ. Don't lose hope. Know that God himself is with you. Know that God is standing with you. Don't regret. It's not a matter of getting things done very quickly. But today, as you have received Christ, keep on moving. 
keep on walking with God because when you walk with God, no disappointment in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom, peace of God be upon you.